Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. For today's video, you guys are going to be seeing me do my sister's makeup. This is a look that we ended up getting for today, and I would say this is a fall makeup look. Just because of the vibes that I'm picking up off of it. I need to mention though, this video is pretty funny. There is some funny parts during this video, but doesn't my sister look drop dead gorgeous? She's just so pretty and I think that these colors really suit her. So if you guys want to see how I did this makeup look on her, then let's just go ahead and get right into the video. Alright guys, so starting off, I'm going to be spraying her face with MAC Fix Plus. I am using her CoverGirl foundation. This is a funny part number one. The ones to come are even funnier. But I am going to be using a beauty blender to blend out all of her foundation. We didn't use a primer beforehand just because she was literally going to go wash this off after this video was done. So for that reason we didn't go in with a primer but if you are going to be recreating this look then be sure to add one just to make sure that your foundation will stick on all day or all night long. The next thing we're going to be using is this NYX HD Concealer and I'm going to apply that on her under eyes just to cover up those bags because let's be honest my sister's been here at my house for the past couple days and we have been staying up pretty late watching movies and just having fun girl time. I'm going to go in with my Airspun Loose Face Powder and I'm going to set that right away just to prevent any creases and she is showing you guys here that this is a product that I used because while we were filming this I actually forgot to show you guys. And to set the rest of her face we're going to be going in with the No Filter NYX Powder Blush. No, what? Powder, not blush. We're not there yet, girlfriend. <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead and set her face and I'm going to jump right into bronzer. I'm going to be using the Butter Bronzer from Physicians Formula just to bronze up and bring um, some color back into her skin because she is a little bit on the Edward Cullen side. She's kind of pale, pasty. And to further contour, I'm going to go in with the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil Bronzer. And I'm going to add some of that on the bridge of her nose, just a little bit. And then for blush, I'm going to be using the Laura Geller Baked Blush. This is a product that we got in our BoxyCharm and it's been my absolute favorite. I love the way that it looks on her, but I also like the way that it looks on me. And this is the Becca highlighter that I received from BoxyCharm also because some of you guys did subscribe to BoxyCharm. And that was just a little free gift that I got and I decided to use it on her this particular day. <laughs> God, she's gonna hate me for this but you guys that was hilarious how many of you guys did not just rewind this and watch it over and over and over again because I know I did so I tried using the rose water on her but obviously something happened to my little spray pump that it did not work it literally just made a mess on her face so I'm gonna go in with her Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow Pomade. I'm not sure what shade she uses it in. And I'm going to go ahead and fill in her brows. I just fast forward this part just because you guys have seen me do my brows a million and one times. And I'm just doing hers the exact same way. Alright guys, so we're about to get into the fun part, which is her eyeshadow, and I ended up using the Morphe X Jaclyn Hill palette. I'm not sure which, like exactly what this palette's called, um, and I also don't know what the colors or the shades are called. Um, if you guys want to know exactly, then I will leave them down in the description box if that's something you guys want to know. But I also show you guys exactly what color I'm going in with. 
so I don't think the names actually really matter so I might or I might not put them in the description box but I'm just going to be putting in this first shade into her crease and then I'm going to make sure to blend that out really well and then I'm gonna grab this second shade which is like a darker maroon and I'm going to put this in her crease but I'm not going to blend that up as high as the first shade we went in with. I want to keep this more in the crease, um, sort of like the cream part of your cookie, if that makes any sense. Now the third shade that we're going to go in with is from the Nighting Tail Palette. This is from BoxyCharm and I know this shade is called Hide and Seek. What I'm going to do with this shade is just buff out the edges of the very first orange shade that we went in with just because I felt like her edges were a little bit too harsh. So I'm going to use that lighter color to just blend everything out. Now going in with a darker maroon shade, I'm going to put that on her outer V, sort of like her outer corner, and I'm also going to drag that into her crease just a little bit, not a whole lot. I don't want to get carried away. Just a little bit, just to add some color and definition into her eye. And I'm going to go ahead and start cutting her crease. I'm only going to cover it like a, like a third of her eyelid. I don't want to cover the entire thing. And you just want to make sure to blend out that concealer. You don't want it to be streaky or anything. And I did not set it with a like the color that kind of matches the concealer. I went straight into the yellow shade that I'm about to show you guys using the same palette. But I just wanted to really make sure that you know that I had blended everything out. And usually you go in with a shadow just to set that before you would go in with you know the one that you're gonna go in with. But I decided not to and I just went in with my finger because I feel like that's how I got the best um what is it called like the best coverage or whatever with my finger other than a brush because I knew with a brush I wasn't going to get the same pigment as with my finger so now I'm going in with that same shadow that I used for her outer corner and I'm just gonna blend that harsh line that goes straight down the middle I'm gonna blend it out using the same colors and I'm gonna just be going back and forth with the colors just to make sure that that line kind of disappears a little bit. So I'm going to stop talking now because I feel like I already talked your ear off and you guys can just watch how I do it. Using another product that we got in our BoxyCharm this past month is this eyeliner. I'm not sure what it's called either but it's one of those little roller um, eyeliner deals and I really like it because it does give you a super thin line the only thing that I don't like is that it tends to fall off if you put lashes on so you just have to keep going over it but I mean I don't mind I just go over it in case it does fall off and well bam look at that eye with those lashes I'm gonna go ahead and smoke out her lower lash line and I'm also going to try to tight line her eye. The top eye, the top um, eyelid was a fail. She didn't let me do it, but her lower lash line, I was able to tight line it. And I feel like it made like the entire look, it just came together. I feel like because of the color of her eyes, I don't know, I just really like the way her eyes look whenever she tight lines them or puts on lower eyelash mascara because that's something she never does for her like everyday makeup she never puts on mascara on the bottom and I'm always telling her to do it or to add like black eyeliner because it makes her eye color pop does she listen no will she hopefully she does now after she sees this video and watches how bomb she looks <laughs> But what she's doing now is applying a really dark maroon lipstick. And that just completes this look, you guys. I really hope you all enjoyed it. And I'm so sorry if I talked y'all's ear off. I know I talk a lot. It's been a minute since I have filmed one of these videos or even done a voiceover. So I hope you all enjoyed it. I will see you guys in my next one. Bye, guys. Oh, 
give this video a big thumbs up if you want to see more videos featuring my sister. Bye!